All right, this is note 10-3, logarithmic functions, stuff is too easy. We're going to talk about what the difference is between exponential and logarithmic. Um, just like with everything else, we've been talking about the opposites or inverses. So what we have here in our first one, uh, well, this explanation is telling me that exponential can be converted the the opposite or inverse of exponential is logarithmic. And an easy way to remember that is the b is like the base of an exponential. See how it's raised to a power? Okay, so that's the base. So if you just remember, when you are converting from exponential to logarithmic, the base stays the base. So the base of the exponential would be the base of your log. Whatever your exponent is becomes the whole number of your log. So for this guy here, we would have, let me pull out, let me stand. So this guy here is exponential. When I write, when I write the inverse of it, it would be f of negative one, which is our inverse, equals log, and it's a base, the base is a two, so I'll put a little sub two. And then the exponent to x, that becomes my whole number, okay, the bigger one. All right, so that's how I would build that table. So let's go ahead and put in the first one that goes here and fill in from our table in our calculator. So crank up handy dandy, y equals, and clear, and this one is 2 raised to the x power. Go to our table, fill it in straight off the old table. So negative 2 is 0.25, negative 1 is 0.5, 0 is 1, 1 is 2, 3, I'm sorry, 2 is 4, 3 is 8. So now I'm going to go over and graph that over negative 2, up a quarter, over negative 1, up a half, over 0, up 1, 1, 2, Two, four, and three, eight. There's four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight. And it's going to snuggle, 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 but not actually touch the x-axis. And then it takes off and goes up and over forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> now we can answer our questions, domain and range. Domain is how far left would this graph go? It would go how far left? goes forever to the left, so negative infinity, so you can write that as negative infinity and beyond. And how far right it goes? Well, it goes up, but it also goes over to the right forever as well. Okay, for our range, our range, it will go how low? Well, it won't actually hit zero, okay? but it gets close, so since it gets close but doesn't hit it, it'll keep getting closer and closer. That has to be an open parenthesis because it doesn't actually stop at zero. We only use brackets when it stops, and it goes up forever, so that's infinity. Okay, you could have put all real numbers for your domain, okay, and you could have wrote your range as uh, an equation, so the y is greater than zero, but we don't need to. Next one, put in our log, and we'll compare it to this guy. So here's y equals, clear, hit log, and, oh, we need a log base 2. Um, with these calculators, let's see, clear, math. Uh, I'm learning it as some of you guys. Here we go. So if I hit math. In the math menu, it says log base. So up Hit that three. guy. Yay. Everybody can see it there? So I put in log base 2. Move over. Put X. Now we're ready. Uh-oh. Second graph. And it tells me error, 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 error. That's because it does not exist with these numbers. So I can't use any of them. We want to start right here. So we'll go 1... One, two, three, four, five, six. So one is zero, <coughs> two is one, and we'll round to the nearest tenth. That's one decimal place. 
3 is 1.6, 4 is 2, 5 is 2.3, and 6 is 2.5. So when I go to graph this guy, it's over 1 up 0, over 2 up 1, over 3 up 1.6, over 4 up 2, over 5 up 2.3, and then 2.5. So this guy would look like this. It's going to snuggle up next to the y-axis, but not actually touch it. And it takes off from there. And I can see if I were to graph y equals x, that they would be reflected over um, on top of one another. So that shows it's an inverse. Okay, But it gets close to the y, but doesn't touch it, and then goes up and over forever. So domain, how far left it goes. It'll go, this guy here is what I'm looking at. It'll go close to zero, but not touch it. So it has to be open. And our range is, it'll go to the right forever. Okay. It'll go how low range, how low to how high. It'll go down negative infinity. And it'll go up to positive infinity. Now what we noticed is, when I did the inverse, look at my domain and range. They flip places. So the domain for this is actually the range for that one. The range for that one is the domain for that one. Just kind of like these flip because they're inverses. These flip as well because they're inverses. Okay, let's do log base 3x. So we're ready to plug it in and we're going to convert it to exponential. In fact, let's do that first off. Exponential, that's my base. So it becomes the base of the exponent. So it would be 3 raised to the x power. Okay, so those two are inverses of one another. So now I'm ready to put that guy into my calculator. Again, to get to log with a base other than 10, I go math, and then I go down, oopsie, passed it, to A, and it's a log base three, to the X, and then I go to my table, and I, those are 30 <coughs> points, 30 points, don't want them. So over 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, let's just do 4 points on this one. Over 2, up 0.6, over 3, up 1, over 4, up 1.3. Let's graph it, 1, 0, put a point, over 2, up 0.6, over 3, up 1, over 4 up 1.3. So it's going to go, and if I were to look at the graph, the picture of the graph, it's going to get close to the y-axis and then take off from there. So it looks like this. Okay. Domain, how far left? It'll get close to zero, but it, to the y-axis, which is zero, but it won't touch it. How far right? It goes forever. Infinity. Range, how low? It'll go down forever, so negative infinity, and it'll go up forever, positive infinity. So I could actually go ahead and write my domain and range now for the inverse, because we said that they flip. Okay, so my domain should be negative infinity to infinity, and my uh, range would be the domain of the first one, which is zero to infinity. Now let's take a look and see. Clear. 3 raised to the x power, go to our table, and we'll even throw in, let's go negative 3 to 3, how about that, uh, negative 3 to 2, so negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, okay, that'll give us a good look, alright, so over negative 3, tells me it's 0 0.04, Negative 2 is 0.1, negative 1 is 0.3, 0 is 1, 1 is 3, 2 is 9. So I can see it goes up quickly at that point. Oh, so I go over negative 3, 1, 2, 3, up just a hair, can hardly even tell. And then over negative 2, up 0.1, so just a little bit more. Over negative 1, up 0.3, a little bit more over 0 up 1, and then over 1 up 3, and over 2 up 9, that's next 
to the last one. So this one will get close, 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 not actually touch, and then go up and over forever. So that's how we get our domain. It goes to the left forever, to the right forever. Okay. And our range, how low does it go? It gets almost to zero, but it won't actually touch the x-axis, and goes up forever. Okay, flip it. Okay, just more of the same. Uh, so let's do number three. See what, and then, but, well, I'll tell you what, let's just do one more time. Okay, this would be log, what's the base on the first one? The base five, so this would be a log base five x. Okay, this guy here would be a log base one half x. This guy down here, let's take it from a log, the base is a one third, so oops, one third to the x power. Got to put in parentheses because it is a uh, fraction. Okay, so now we're ready to fill in our table. So first one, y equals five raised to the x power. Let's graph it real quick. Uh, let's just go negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. All right, so negative two is point zero four, negative one is point two, uh, zero is one, one is five, and two is 25, so I can't actually get that one on my graph, so don't worry about that one. Okay, graph it, and we'll get these points just by, I'm just picking points that I'll make, you can pick any points you want, any of them that work out good that you can graph. All these are graphical points, none of them are errors. So over negative two, up 0 0.04, so if you wanted to choose Negative three, you could. Okay, negative one up point two, zero one, and one five. One, two, three, four, five. And it just does this little dance right here, this little dance right here, which is to the left forever, to the right forever is my domain range. It gets close to zero but doesn't touch it, and it goes up forever. So we know to flip them. My domain for the next one should be zero to infinity. Range should be negative infinity, positive infinity. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We got clear log. So we want a log base. Get down to log base five x table. We got all errors, so we know we have to start at one. Let's do a couple points, or a few points here. One, two, three, four. <coughs> One is zero. The logs are easy to grab because you can see the errors. That's not where we want to start. The first one is not an error. Okay. Two would be point four. Three is point seven. And four would be point nine. So this guy is over one zero. Over two point four. 3.7 over 4.9, and if you graph it, it goes close to the y, but doesn't touch it, and it goes kind of sharply that direction. Okay, and sure enough, it matches that. Over to the left, zero, to the right, forever, down forever, up forever. All right, let's just jump to number five. A log base one-third. So we have clear, same, uh, log base, now I need a fraction, alpha y equals, it's a base of one third. The x, let's take a look at it, we see our errors, so let's start at one again. One, two, three, four. One, one is zero, two is negative point six, three is negative one, and four is negative one point two. So we go over here, one zero, put a point over two of point or down point six, 
over 3 down 1 over 4 down 1.2. So this guy, if I looked at it on my graph, okay, I can see that it's going to go close to zero, but it won't actually touch it, and then it goes down and over forever. So it flips it. Whenever it's a fraction, it flips it over the other direction. Okay, so my domain, how far left, it goes close to zero but doesn't touch it, and it goes forever to the right. It goes down forever, so negative infinity, and up forever, positive infinity. Okay, so I know that these should be flipped. Okay, if I were to graph it, I see that that's the case. So that would be alpha y equals, try to use parentheses now, 1 over 3, close parentheses, raised to the x power. Let's go and graph it. And let's just get some clean points. Let's go negative 2. We can deal with those. Negative 2, negative 1, 0. One. Let's just do that. So negative two came out to nine. Negative one was three. Zero is one. One is one third, which we know is point three. So over negative two up nine, put a point. Over negative one up three. One, two, three, put a point. Over zero up one, put a point. Over one up point three. Now if I graphed it. I would see that it gets close to zero, but it doesn't touch it. So it's going close to zero, but doesn't touch it for the x-axis and goes up and over forever. So it kind of overlaps and crosses right by itself. Boom, it doesn't ever cross the x-axis, but it shares a common point. Okay, so this guy here, sure enough, went to the left forever, to the right forever. It went close to zero, but doesn't touch it, went up forever from our range. Okay, you're going to do a 10-3. On 10-3, you're going to do, do a couple of each of those. Uh, first one's going to be just converting them. So let's, those are fast, quick, easy ones. One, let's do one, two, and three. Then we're going to go number eight. Um, let's do 9 and 10. <clears throat> okay, that concludes notes for 10-3.